Hello, welcome. My name is Cindy St. Martin, and you're watching my weekly Angel Oracle Card reading for the week of February 24th, 2013. So I thank you for being with me, and I'm glad you're here. I hope you had a wonderful week last week, and you saw all your blessings and, uh, and received a lot of love and gave a lot of love, which is very important. Uh, on Monday, we're having a full moon. So uh, you might want to get your crystals out uh, on Sunday night and uh, so they can go through a cleansing process and recharging process. So you put them out on your windowsill or outside and, uh, and let that process happen. If I put my crystals outside, the squirrels steal them, so i got to keep them on my windowsill. Also, with the full moon comes changes, and you want to surrender and release things that you don't that no longer serve you or help you, and then you are recharged again uh, with new beginnings and new blessings. So today, I will select three cards from three different decks to tell us our uh, reading for next week, and I'm going to start today with the angel blessing cards, and we'll see what the first card is. I already called upon the angels and the archangels and the ascendant masters and God to help God with this reading today so we'll see what they have to say so I'm going to shuffle we're coming to March very this week also and so it's nice when we're heading closer to spring Okay, I'm going to cut the deck and we'll see what the first card is. And the first card is Ramelia, and it's joy. There's no explanation for joy. <laughs> so it looks like, and you know, it, everything is how you think of things as well. You know, maybe with the full moon coming, there's going to be time for joy and happiness coming. And with spring coming, everything, uh, new birth and new happenings. So with the full moon, and it's the number eight is on the card. And eight represents finances and money. So it looks like um, maybe some things are going to be happening in that uh, department. Maybe you'll get a raise. Maybe you'll get a new job. Or maybe you'll get a new savings plan or something like that. But other things that are going to bring you great joy. So that's really, really good. So the next set of cards I'm going to go with are the romance cards. And we'll see what those angels have to say for this week. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. And the romance card is Reconciliation. And it reads, someone from your past is returning into your life. Well, that would bring great joy if it's someone that, well, this is romance, so it deals with love. So someone in your past is going to return into your life. Now, maybe you get a phone call, or maybe you're thinking about them, and they're going to run into them, or really make a substantial uh, return into your life. Now, also, this may not be someone that you already know. It could be a soulmate from a past life that's returning back into your life. So, again, um, it could be uh, one of a romantic way. It could be of a friendship. And, you know, there's love in many different forms. So to be reconciled with someone from, uh, from your past is, will bring great joy, okay? And they're going to make some changes um, to you, maybe enlighten you more, definitely joy. So, again, it could be a soulmate. You might not recognize them. Uh, from this lifetime, but you're going to feel them, and, and souls are going to be uh, reunited. So, okay, that's good, too. So from there, I'm going to go to the eight Archangel cards, and we'll see what the Archangels have to say to tie this reading all together. I like, I, I'm like. i getting a good feeling with this full moon coming. Um, I feel I'm getting a really good feeling. So you really maybe, you know, if it's a nice night, um, Monday night, you should definitely go out uh, and for a walk or open up your blinds to your home and let the moonlight come in. Hopefully it's a clear night 
and uh, you can absorb the energies and be uh, energized and new things happening. Okay. All right, so I'm going to cut the deck and we'll see what the archangels have to say. <laughs> I think I'm going to share two cards with you. And the first card I'm going to show you is leadership. And it's Archangel Gabriel. And she says, it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Okay. Sometimes, uh, you know, by doing for others brings great joy to us because we bring joy to others. And so it's a blessing. So maybe uh, someone who or that's returning back into your life, is maybe they're going to lead you or you're going to lead them. And you're going to take, they're going to take their role and their purpose in your life and, uh, or you are going to take your role into that. And it looks like a lot of love of something really, really nice. And the other card I wanted to share with you because it came up and it's one of my favorite cards. So that's what I'm going to share with you. It was right next to the leadership card and it's victory. And it's Archangel Sandalphon. And he says, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Sometimes uh, we don't even realize our prayers were answered. You know, and so we just got to keep faith and, and uh, know that whatever's happening now is going to take you to where you need to be. That your prayers are going to be answered. You know, there's lots of stories that sometimes things look like. They're not turning out the way you want it. And then all of a sudden, voila, it happens. So trust in God, have faith, have faith in your angels and God that things will manifest and your prayers will be answered. If you put your prayers and intentions out there, they're going to be answered. But you've got to be patient and keep positive. That's very important. Okay, so now we're going to go with the Archangel Michael prayer cards and we'll see what our prayer for the week is. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. And it's positive thoughts create positive results. Which is perfect for this reading. Divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self, to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation. So this this was really good because, you know, if this person who's reconnecting with you, you might wonder, why are they here? <laughs> and this is to reinforce that it's only love that can, connects you and, and for you to um, be a leader in this. And, you know, uh, being a leader doesn't mean you boss everybody around. <laughs> Not at all. You tell people what to do. Not at all. A leader it leads by example and by wisdom. You know, uh, a leader also knows not to force information to anyone, that it gently comes out. And having great wisdom and love uh, by example is being a great leader with that. And because of that, you'll be victorious. So I thank you for being with me today. And, uh, I also like to invite you to my uh, live online re uh, chats on Sunday nights at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I invite you to join in, pop in, and and I, where I do some readings and, and talk. And I have had some uh, of you uh, YouTubers watching come and join me, and it's wonderful. And we get people from all over the world join in. So if you're watching, you like to pop in and see what's all about. I invite you to go to my website at cindyshealing.com slash live chat. There you can like me on Facebook. You can see all my services. Maybe you like to have a reading or a Reiki healing session, a distant healing session. You do not have to be here person to person with me to get any of my healing. It works either through Skype or through distance, and it's just perfect. So I wish you have a wonderful week. Release and surrender to the moon, and may you be healed and your reconciliation with uh, your loved one.
be joyous and wonderful. So until then, I say bye-bye.